check this out people if you like to do time lapse these three products from Brino are outstanding today I'm going to introduce to you the Brino TLC 200 Pro HDR the pan lapse accessory and new on the market the TLC 120 time lapse camera it's an HDR also let's talk about the two cameras first first I'd like to review the TLC 200 Pro which is an outstanding camera here is some time-lapse photography that we did just in a short while just to show you what it's capable of doing this camera can also be controlled remotely with your cell phone and what we really like about it is it's capable of doing daytime, nighttime, stars, moons. You can change your exposure and it's all in high definition. You also have full control of what speed of time lapse you'd like to do. And the most exceptional thing I like about this camera, and both of them have the capability, is when it's done taking its photos, it automatically renders and makes a file for you so you don't have to run it through special software. Next is the TLC 120, which is new on the market, soon to be in your retail stores. It's a mini camera that has the same capabilities of the big camera. What we like about this is you totally control it by your cell phone. The cell phone uses Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to, con uh, to connect e either one of these cameras. And you have full control over this camera as you do the bigger camera. You can control your exposure, your daytime, nighttime, stars, moon type of shots that you want. It also has an exceptionally good built-in battery life. You do not have to deal with batteries. The larger TLC 200 HDR requires batteries. I've ran this camera overnight and it only uses about a quarter of the power that the batteries are in it. So it actually has a long life. But the 120 has a built-in charging system and it has a very long life. And I haven't actually maxed it out yet. The pan lapse is a very neat design. It's designed to be programmable by your phone and you can install your cameras on top of the pan lapse and program it to do a rotation of whatever you want it from 90 degrees all the way around. As slow, you can do a start time and end time. You have full control of it. This also comes apart. where you can actually mount your camera right on the top. This particular piece here allows you to actually put your cell phone in. So it's a very neat accessory. This very easily installs the camera on the top. Program it, the pan lapse through your phone to rotate while you're doing time lapse in a slow smooth way to get really fantastic time lapse. Next I'd like to tell you a little bit about the TOC 200 once again. What's nice about this particular camera is it also has different lenses that you can buy as an accessory. You have a zoom lens that you can get and also a wide angle lens. Getting back to the TLC 120, it's basically it's designed to make time lapse very easy you set it anywhere you want to. It's waterproof and very uh, uh, well built. I've actually only done a few time lapse with it just to see how the controls work. It's exactly like the larger camera. It worked really well. Here's a little sample for you to see. Just taking a few shots of my wife uh, and dog real quick. And uh, it looks identical to the TLC 200. If you're interested in getting your own Brino time-lapse camera, the TLC 200 HDR 
Pro retails for $195. With a weatherproof case to come with it, it retails at $235. The pan lamps from Brino retails for around $149. The new smaller TLC 120 HDR is not on the market yet and does not have a suggested retail price. If you'd like to know a little more about these products, go directly to the Brino website. They will tell you all the specifications of these products. The new TLC 120 is not on the site yet, but will be soon. I highly recommend these products. I have links below for you to purchase them, with the exception of the TLC 120 HDR. Thank you for watching, and people, check this out. Are you ready to get your own domain? We have domains of all types. Just go to northwestdomains.com. There's no games, no gimmicks, just domains.